couple things. First of all, yes, indeed, sugar is a main culprit when it comes to acne, and so is insulin. In fact, it used to be called, do you know acne used to be called skin diabetes back in the day? I'm talking the 60s. And they used to use uh, anti-diabetes medicine to treat acne. That's how, that's how your doctor, your dermatologist probably doesn't know this. They used to, when I was in pharmacy school in the 80s, one of the major, not one of the major, but one of the important uh, anti-acne medicines was uh, tolbutamide, which is an anti-diabetes uh, medication. So yes, major connection between the two. Go definitely, if, you break, if you're still breaking out at the age of 30, something's percolating, something's happening. Are you oily too, Rodrigo? Is your skin oily? I'm sorry? Is your skin oily? Uh, no, no, no. No, okay. I do get some dry skin, but the dermatologist gave me this Accutane. Oh, my goodness. You're on Accutane? I took it for a couple of months, and then it went away, and then just came back again. Oh, my goodness. You mean you got off the Accutane and your acne came back? How surprising. All right, here's what you yeah. want to do. Here's what you want to do, I okay? For about, I took that for about nine months, ten months. All right, well, I'm going, to t- I'm going to help you out here, Rodrigo. I'm going to help everybody listening. First of all, you want to go back and listen to my seven different types of acne because all the a- there's seven different ways to treat acne depending on the specific biochemical issue you have. However, that being said, there are basics, uh, basic themes that underlie all acne condition. Sugar is one. Mineral deficiency is another, specifically zinc and selenium, especially zinc. Zinc is like a, you know, I don't like to say one thing, you know, this for that, where you have this medicine or this nutrient for that illness. I I hate doing that. But zinc is so darn powerful and zinc is so darn impactful on the skin. It's it's pretty much, you know, I could violate my this for that rule, my non this for that rule with zinc. Because that's how powerful it is for acne for the skin in general. 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate. Here's the interesting thing about zinc. If you take too much zinc, you'll actually break out as much as if you didn't take enough. So you don't want to take too much zinc. I go for, I going, I'm going with 50 milligrams a day. If you go to 60, that's not, not the end of the world. But certainly you don't want to do 100 milligrams a day for a long period of time. Always ba- It's a good idea to balance your zinc with copper, too. 2 milligrams of copper, 50 milligrams of zinc. The best form of zinc is zinc picolinate. Another kind of almost, almost go-to uh, nutrient, nutritional supplement for dealing with acne, again, I don't like this for that, but uh, you can sure make a case for this for that when it comes to vitamin A and the skin and vitamin A and acne. And that has to do with topical too, Rodrigo. So you asked about the scars topically. Acne scars aren't going away. You can improve their appearance but they're not going away. Don't fall for anybody who tells you they can go away. They can do some plastic surgery techniques that are super deep but, and invasive. Uh, and, and actually, I've seen some good results. But I, you know, aside from plastic surgery, you're not going to just put something on, this, on an acne scar and make it go away. Now, I had a listener, Mr. X, who says his, his scars went away, and I haven't yet to see that. So I'm not going to say definitively that scars aren't going away, but I've yet to see scars going away. However, you can improve their appearance dramatically. Dramatically, Rodrigo, with retinol, high, high concentration of retinol. Go to truthtreatments.com and get our retinol, uh, retinol gel, 5% gel. You can improve the appearance and you can improve uh, 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 the likelihood or reduce the likelihood of further breakouts with retinol. Okay, now also okay. Topical, topical vitamin C can help, but that's one of the neat things about my retinol 5% gel is you're getting a bunch of vitamin C with it. So retinol 5% gel, vitamin C, these can improve the appearance pretty dramatically of the skin. Another very important nutrient for, uh, for oiliness, and they say you don't have any oiliness, but it may be that you're not noticing it, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, really a very unheralded, uh, un- underappreciated vitamin, pantothenic acid is, uh, important for making steroid hormones, important for helping the body process fats, and there's a very interesting relationship between excess sebum, or seborrhea, as it's technically called, excess skin oils, and vitamin B5. It turns out that vitamin B5 is like a little sponge that sops up excess skin oils. That, that is topical as well as internal. Now, if you have any, uh, but you need a lot of it. You need a couple grams of the B5 a day in conjunction with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure you're doing the healthy start pack. Also, thinning out skin oils with omega fatty acids can help. That's your ultimate EFAs. If you have any kind of digestive health issues, my friend, you got to correct those. 
uh, that means uh, bloating or gas or discomfort or diarrhea or constipation after foods, eliminate those foods and then use supplements for the digestive system. Probiotic supplements are amazingly helpful for all issues, all, all health issues, but especially for skin issues. Uh, uh, dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria will cause eczema, psoriasis, as well as inflammatory issues like acne. So t- tons of things you could do there, Rodrigo. Topically, though, the retinol 5% gel, that's the way to go. Thank you. Thank you. I want one quick question really quick. Um, I sure. you speak about uh, proteins, and I, I do take the slender effects from the longevity, but I've been taking that over a year. I'm a little tired of that strawberry. I mean, Yeah, the, the entire taste. Eggs. Here's, here's yeah, a couple of... Is, yeah. Is there another company that you recommend getting that whey protein yeah. from? Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like uh, Natural Factors from Canada, and I like One World Whey in addition to the Slender FX. And you can just get generic whey protein, too. Make sure it's, uh, unless you have a digestive problem, make sure it's the basic hydrolyzed whey protein. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, but you can get plain old whey uh, generically, and you can add it to the Slender FX, or you can make your own smoothie with frozen fruit. Go get yourself some organic frozen fruit and uh, throw a couple berries in there and make your own, uh, and a little bit of yogurt, maybe, and make your own smoothie and make your own protein smoothie, okay. and, you, and you'll have so, your own. You can so you taste said, it flexible. You said a w- you said One World Way? One World Way and Natural Factors. Those are my two favorite. Got to motivate. Rodrigo, thank you so much for your call, buddy. Appreciate thank it. I hope we helped you out. And thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be at you tomorrow with more good health information on the Bright Side. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.